Back now with our series, Together We Rise. And today we're heading west to a small airport in the middle of Compton, California. Yeah, it's where you'll find a whole new generation of trailblazers soaring to new heights. Awesome. Uh, smoothly pulled back. I don't care, I'm gonna be scared until he comes back down. Yes, I gotta breathe, sorry. <laughs> Casey Brown may be on edge, but her son, Caden, is sitting on cloud nine. Flying straight ahead, you have the controls. Beautiful day outside, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's all happening at the Compton Airport in Los Angeles, where after school programs are introducing kids in the underserved community to the world of aviation. I love flying, I choose flying over everything else in the world. I want to get my pilot's license when I'm 16. The airline industry and aviation in general, 1.2% of the pilots are African-American. In an effort to change that statistic, veteran pilot Robin Petgrave launched his educational program, Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum, 21 years ago, in one of America's toughest neighborhoods. If you want to be a pilot, then when the kids say, come on, let's try this drugs, no, that doesn't make sense. If you want to be a pilot, you got to learn to read. If you want to be a pilot, you got to pay attention to math. And on this day, Robin gives eight-year-old Anayla Hardy her very first helicopter ride. Perfect. Close. Keep it just like that. Good job. You're flying the helicopter. Kids that started in our program when they were seven, eight, are now airline captains, mechanics, engineers, doctors. Former students like Ronald Norman and Jonathan Strickland are now commercial pilots. We all grew up within 10 miles of here, and if we could start here, so can other people. The program meant a lot to me then. It means even more to me now, and that's why we uh, decided to start our own uh, organization. Now Robin is making way for the next generation, pilots who will continue to teach, to inspire, and preserve the long legacy that came before them. They want to train the new kids, which is, I mean, incredible. I'm a living witness. Like, when you see people that look like you doing certain things, it makes it that much more attainable. Demetrius and seven others created a nonprofit, Fly Compton, where every other Saturday morning about 40 students hit the books. You want to rotate. They teach me about the different aircraft, and how these aircraft work, how they fly, why they fly, how they are built, and what makes them safe. And then it's wheels up with flight lessons. And then we're going to go ahead and make our left hand turn. That's perfect pitch right there. I'm a total helicopter mom. He has to text me when he goes up and text me when he comes down. <laughs> but other than that, I'm good. Overall, I just think that she needs to like let loose a little bit, you know, give me some room to breathe, you know. For KV on Woods, it's his dream to have an office in the sky. My age is 13 years old, and I've flown a plane probably 50 times, maybe. Bring it back to about 1,500 RPM. My son can be out in the streets doing who knows what, but instead, here he is in a better environment where they're welcoming him where he belongs. This place is a place where bad days literally turn into the best days in the world. It should be normal to see people walking through the airport who look like me, with hair like me. Most people, you know, on Saturday, yeah, I have a soccer game or I have a volleyball game. And Sydney, what are you doing on Saturday? Well, I'm flying planes on Saturday. She's learning brand new skills, new vocabulary, new concepts. It's such an amazing experience for us to be in this space with all of these trailblazers. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we can get on board with that. <laughs> Kavion's goal is to become a certified pilot by the age of 16, and we'll be sure he'll make it, right? I bet on him Can't any wait. day.